It started out with my fascination with comic books. I'm a fan of a particular character, Captain America. But honestly, now that I have two boys, it's become just fun event to be with the boys, to meet the artist. We do this now less as collectors and more as fans. You have all this group of, of um, people who sell comic books and comic book merchandise and all that. So you have that aspect too, and I am a collector, so I'll, I'll spend some time over there spending money, um, finding the things that I've been looking for. Um, it's a time to see artists and writers that you would have never seen anywhere else, to see new stuff. Since they were little, they just come and, and they just would ask the artists to draw something in the book. And um, it's just been a lot of fun. And they've been doing this since they were little. Some of these artists they've seen over and over at the convention. And, and as they get older, the themes change. This is George Perez. I like the artist. Um, I want to be a writer when I grow up a comic book writer. It's just fun to know them and, and meet them so you can like get them to sign stuff. And because Dennis is not really a comic book uh, superhero anymore. Don't say that. Not to the people who grew up reading. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's for people like you that I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Are y'all big Dennis the Menace fans? Big Dennis the Menace. It's almost like reading also at the same time it was Dandy and everything else from you know growing up and learning how to read. Back then they were large enough you could read them. Uh, that's and now true. they've shrunk them down so far that people our age have trouble seeing them. <laughs> <laughs> They used to throw the original pen and ink so drawings I, away because oh it wasn't considered art back in the 50, 40s and 50s and all that. Even Norman Rockwell's stuff, when he did covers, they either painted over them or threw them away because they didn't realize since it was commercial illustration, it wasn't considered fine art, so why keep it? Uh, but they were so mistaken. All comic book art, any art that's Any created art. by somebody is worth saving. Well, wonderful. Um, it's wonderful to see the artists that are you know, up and coming and, and new art and hopefuls and giving them a chance and a lot of the old, you know, dating myself, but a lot of the old storylines that you don't see, you know, you know, like the Dennis the Menace. And we get to go back, kind of relive your childhood. I mean, there's stuff that, that we saw growing up. Now we're, we're getting to actually meet the guys who wrote it who drew it, I mean, it's just, it's like, a, almost kind of like a dream come true. We come down here to just get away from, uh, get away from it all, get away from our jobs, get away from responsibilities, just hang out and have a good time and relive a lot of our past and our childhood, because some of us have never grown up and hopefully we never will. I guess when I was a kid, I, I read comic books all the time. And then when I was in college, for some reason there was a lot of people together that we would just get together and talk about comic books. And I started actually really collecting when I was in, in college back in the, in the late 60s, early 70s. And my collection from there has kind of grown. But uh, I can't say exactly what it actually ever attracted me to comics to start with. I guess it was just, uh, just the escape. Back then, it was Superman and Batman. That's who I read the most. And I kind of switched over to Marvel. Yeah, I had some old Archie comic books and stuff that I gave them, and they've inherited those. And they keep telling me they're worth money and they're an investment, so we'll see. It's interesting. It's interesting. They're having a great time, so that's why I came. And that's really all that matters, right? That's right. That's right. And they're spending their own money. That makes it even better. <laughs> I'm here to look at comic books and get some stuff. And it's, this is, I think it's going to help me pursue my career and become a comic book artist. I really do. I, I don't, I just draw my own style superheroes. I've created a lot of different ones. I've created a few, a few um, new ones. I think it's awesome. I think it's great for some people to come, take a day off work, take the kids and have fun here. It's good. It's cool. It's my sanctuary. <laughs> I draw a lot of fantasy stories. like. I have Greek and Egyptian mythology and a story about a dragon myth and different creatures. So I like that kind of stuff and that's what I like to draw.
Just the experience of how to publish it, how to put it together. I guess selling it is really secondary. Um, it's you know more important that he just understands the whole process of being an artist, a designer, a writer, and what goes into that, and just finding out about it. I just really want to encourage him with whatever he'd like to do. And I have three kids, and they all are writing comics, so I'm sure they're all going to be inspired. So as a family, I guess we probably will be attending conventions like this from now on after this. But that's your story on why. It's a why, yeah. low print run for the demand, and it happened to be the first Wolverine apocalypse story. Mm -hmm. And it's just one of them weird books that everyone asks for, and they just aren't out there to be, to be purchased. I've been coming to Heroes for almost 15 years. I don't know what show he's up to, but I've been to almost every one that Shelton's ever run. Uh, I used to come starting at age 16, as uh, I believe it was around 16, as a fan. And now I've been setting up as a dealer for about seven years now. So I actually made the crossover. Not only was this the first real comic convention I ever went to as a fan, and I mean, I was one of the people who lined up at the door and ran to the artist they wanted to see when the Friday morning show opened. I was a runner. And it's almost embarrassing to admit it. I'm sure I've gotten drool on George Perez when George Perez used to be one of his regulars here. And uh, the cool thing is now me and George are friends and we chat at shows. And I went from, you know, really bugging the guy to actually, you know, being a friend of his. And he knows me and we talk and we email occasionally. It's really cool. And they just lift your imagination there. Just awesome. All kinds of just learn how to read with them basically. And just drew me in for my whole life. Love them. They have very, there's a lot of different storylines and they're very intricate. They, um, you know, one comic can have 30 different storylines going on at the same time. They, uh, and it's interesting to see how the characters have changed since like the 50s to now, the same characters. I like um, the fact that good usually, almost always triumphs over evil. I had a very hard time reading when I was young and I loved comics. That's actually one reason I started reading so much. If someone has a hard time reading, they'll be able to look at the pictures and know what's going on. The art brings out the story, and the story brings out the art. The art brings out the emotion, and that just transcends all of language barriers. You get such a wide variety of people that come to cons. It's, it's all over the spectrum. There's going to be a lot of people dressed up. Makes me laugh. <laughs> Can you pull my finger real quick? Looking for poison ivy. There you go. Keep pulling it. Keep, hold on to it. Catwoman. Oh, that's better. That's much better. Thank you very much. They were here earlier. Long time watchers, first time adventures. It's a little close. I've been coming here since I was like seven years old. Mobile! Show your face. Ah. <laughs> I've been coming here for about five years. I've come to take over the convention. I've traveled here from e the lower of world of Eternia, and this gentleman has a few questions for me. What would you like to know about Lord Skeletor? How long have you been coming to the convention? How long have I? This is my first year. You see, it's a very long ways from Eternia to the planet Earth, and I've been so busy battling He-Man that it's very hard to get over here. This is my first year. I see lots of people here that seem to like the Lord Skeletor a lot, so I'm looking to find some new workers. Merman and Beastman, they, 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 they give me problems. I'm looking for some good workers. I'm obviously a cat woman, of course, and poison ivy. It really only took me a collective, like, 10 hours to make it, but it took me, like, three years because it kept stopping. <laughs> yeah. And then I would just set it aside. But then, like, she, she'd, like, start getting back into it around, like, August or September because she's like, I'm going to finish it. This is going to be my Halloween costume. <laughs> By God, I'm going to go someplace. <laughs> and she never did. So right. this is really a great, Big you know, tribute, motivator. Right? <laughs> and I've just been putting mine together slowly across time because you would not believe how hard and long it took me to find an actual, like, Purple leotard. They really don't make them. It's 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 very yes, this is old surprised. school cat. This is old school cat woman. That's right. Not the kind of crash helmet, big goggly thing that she's got going on right now. 